Hi friends, I have another craft for you today. Today we are making these cute washcloth reindeer. Aren't they adorable? This one's a little baby one, a little squatty one. We'll see if we can make the next one look a little different. He's so cute. This is just a washcloth and a pom-pom, some ribbon, and then this is um, crafting foam, craft foam. And that's it. You could use googly eyes if you wanted to, but isn't he adorable? So I'm gonna make another one and show you. It's, it's easy to do. And he's a little top heavy with his head. Let's see if I can get him to sit up there. Deep. Um, but I, because I picked up these washcloths, and these are just Dollar Tree washcloths, any washcloth will do, except the bigger the better, I think. Just trimming off the tag. Uh, the first person who did this that I'm borrowing this craft for and showing you, she said a um, 13 by 13, and I looked, I have some really nice towels at home. I don't have a 13 by 13, even at home. So um, if you can find one though, that would be amazing. This one's a little smaller, so my little dude's smaller. So anyway, you just take the long side, if it's not square, and you roll it up tight and even to the center. And then weigh that down for a second. Like I've got some scissors, I'm just gonna weigh this down. And then roll the other side. This is gonna be our reindeer body. See, just up together and then fold it. And that's how we make our reindeer. I'm gonna stuff in the edges that I didn't roll up even apparently for my feet, because that's gonna be my feet. And then you just need some, uh, two little rubber bands. So I am using these little uh, elastics that you can get at the craft store. Or they're um, for putting up a little hair. And then the idea is to come about two thirds down or a third up for your legs. So we're gonna put this around and situate where we want it. I'm gonna go up a little higher on this one, see if I can get him a little less top heavy. But I still need room for his eyeballs, so you know. All right, that's temporary, because we're gonna take string and tighten it. But see what I mean? That's the beginning. Then you push this one down in the center and uh, put a, a rubber band on this side to make his nose. So you just push it down in the center Grab a rubber band and we're gonna make his nose. We'll put this around twice, see if that works. Got extras in case one of these pop on me. <laughs> so this one's gonna have a little bigger legs. Then you just shape him up a little bit how you want him to look. Can you see a reindeer? I can see a reindeer. All right, so now we need a tie. You know, these elastics aren't really gonna uh, keep well. And so if you have some string um, that is similar color, that would be great. So it's, uh, you don't see it as well. They make this wax string that's nice, which I don't have, but I do have some twine. So that's what I'm using. And I'm just gonna tie it in the back, secure it and tie it super tight so it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna hide the knot in the back and cut it off as best I can. Gonna do a little extra tie there just in case. Gonna hide it, take my scissors. We're gonna hide that in the back. Then we're gonna do around his nose. So that'll be just fine. I'm gonna put a ribbon around so you're not gonna see it anyway. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with his nose. I'm gonna tie it up under his nose where his chin would be, I guess. Tie it 
tie it really tight. But you can see how it makes sense to do it with a little elastic first because a little rubber band would be hard to position where you want it. And just tying it straight with string. Uh, dental floss. That stuff's good for all kinds of stuff. Cutting cakes. <laughs> no, it really is. My mom used to make wedding cakes and catered cakes. Cakes. She showed me that little trick so it doesn't mess up the front decorations. All right, so he is secure. You can't really see the string, but I am going to put a ribbon around his neck. So this is a little thick for my liking. What is it? Five eighths or 16 millimeter. I really would like something uh, thinner to make a little bow. So I have a feeling I'm gonna make several of these cause this is just too cute. So I'm gonna go get some thinner, thinner ribbon but this will work. It worked for my first one. It'll work for this one. And I'm just going to make a little bow. If it's um, single-sided ribbon like mine is, you're going to have to mess with it a little bit to make sure that the right side is facing out. And you don't have that blank side. I've got white on the back and this cute uh, stripey pattern on the front. Which is why I'm using this one. It's going to be some space here. I like the way it looks um, for the winter season and this doesn't have to just be around the holidays just the whole winter season there's reindeer year-round right <laughs> you decorate this the way you want so I'm just messing with my bow for a second getting it where I want it then I'm going to trim off my edges. And have my bow. Isn't that cute? All right. Now to the reindeer antlers and ears. So I have this pattern and it is not my pattern. I'm borrowing it from Patty Good. But um, I'll have it in the comments so you can download it and cut it for yourselves. It's like a one inch gauge. And I already cut those out and I cut them out of this foam, craft foam. So I have four different colors. I have a darker brown for the antlers and the ears. Then I have a, a tan to go inside the ears, white for the eyes, and black for the pupil. And then we have a uh, pipe cleaner. We just need to cut it in half. And that's how we're going to do our antlers. So these little jaunty parts need to go on the outside of your deer. So I am just going to glue this onto the antler with my glue gun. Just like this. I'm going to do both sides. Doesn't need a lot of glue. Actually, this first one I did, I got glue happy. And uh, is this coming out? There we go. And it squirted out and stuck to my craft surface. So. That's no good. You don't need a ton. We are just gluing it right on here. In case you can't see, it's right on the front. Then I'm going to take my ear and glue it right on top of the antler. It covers up the pipe cleaner and you want to put the base of the antler and the base of the ear in line with each other. So you just put a little bit more glue here. This is where I stuck because I put way too much glue and it stuck on my surface. So just line it up and hold it there a second. 
and I'll show you what it looks like. Of course, it's the same color, so it might be hard to see. So because of that, and to give it a little dimension, the smaller tan we're gonna put on top of the ear. It'll give a little dimension and show you a little more color. See, just like that. Oh, stringy with the glue. All right, then we're gonna do the other one. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on there. Get my ear, line up the base of my ear and my antler, hold it there a second. The beauty of a glue gun, it glues fast. I'm gonna take my tan lining of my ear. You can use any colors. You can change it up. You can make a cute little girl and put a bow on top. Like in, like Clarice on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. See? We have antlers and ears all set to go. Now, let's set those aside for a second and let's work on our eyes. So on this little dude, I put the eyes at the bottom. So we have a little one inch circle of white foam and then a little black dot. I'm gonna put it at the bottom because I like how that happened. But I've seen them up at the top, like the little deers looking up. You can put the eyes crazy and he could be like boom. They're awesome. You can do whatever you want to. They got lots of expression. Here, I'll show you when I get both of them done. So I'm just putting it at the bottom. And I'll show you what it looks like if you put them at the top. Because guess what? All you do is flip that thing. And poof, they're at the top. I just cut my fingernails. So you don't know how much you use your fingernails till you cut them or break one. All right, so here's my eyes. Doop. They're at the bottom, right? Yeah, they're at the bottom. Or if you want them up at the top, you know who does that? Odie on Garfield. He's got his eyes. He looks up a lot. So whichever way you want. <laughs> you can make it go like this. Look in at their nose. <laughs> Just play with it. Whatever you're feeling. And then we got a little pom-pom nose. This is uh, black and it looks, it's about uh, three quarters of an inch. So let's stabilize our, our um, reindeer first. See the back? Let's, let's glue that together. So it's like one solid reindeer. Let's glue that together. Put a little glue in there and hold it. Let it come together. I think I'm gonna leave my feet not glued together. I wonder if this one is less top heavy because I think I've got a little more leg on this one. Fun. All right, now do the same thing for the nose. Let's glue the nose together. Just put some glue in there and hold it together. He's shaping up. Cute. Oh yeah, he's looking good. Now, let's put the nose. I'm gonna put the nose right there. Just gonna put some glue on the reindeer himself. You can always put it on the nose. Pom pom. Oops, come here. Oh my word, he already is looking so cool. Let's put his eyes on there. Just put them right above the bend of the nose. So I'm gonna put the glue on my eye. Not a ton, remember, we're trying not to have the glue squirt out. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna have him looking down again. And just put him right there. Let it sit here a second. He's got one eye. Let's get 
this one. <laughs> he looks cute. <laughs> All right, now the antlers. They're not as hard as you may think. So we got an antler. I'm gonna start with this one. Then we just fold this up, twist it around, and we're gonna stick this inside his little head. So we need to make sure, if you have a one that's similar to the color of the uh, pipe cleaner, um, case a little piece of it, I mean, if you have a pipe cleaner similar to the color of your washcloth, that would be cool. But this is all I got. So I'm gonna stick it inside because that's not glued. I'm gonna stick it inside and you make sure that the ear is sitting on top. So you bend the pipe cleaner so the ear is sitting on top. Stick him inside. You don't want him to show on the other side. That's why I folded it. And then see how that's sticking out just a little bit. I'm going to pull it so that he is flush with the top of my reindeer. And then I'm going to squirt some glue in that side and close this up. So you just squirt some glue in. Close it and hold it. Just make sure that your uh, ear and antler is on top of the head of the reindeer. And that's the beauty of pipe cleaners. They just bend and wiggle with you, so. See? And we're gonna secure that down a little more once I get the other one in. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Just putting it up here and twisting it. So I guess you don't really need this whole much of a pipe cleaner, but that's how they come. That's the size they come. And then we're gonna stick him inside. I'm gonna stick him inside. Bend the pipe cleaner up so that my antler is up there on top of his head. And then I wanna put glue in there. And seal it up. Hold it together. This is the part where you really need to make sure the antler is where it needs to be as you're holding your glue. Whoops, making sure he stays up there. Then I'll show you a little trick to make sure these guys don't move on us. Awesome. Oh yeah. See how good he's looking? So now I'm going to tilt this back, put a little bit of glue at the base, and then pick that up and put it over the glue so you can't see the glue. But just a little reinforcement that it's nice and solid on the top of the reindeer. So I'm just putting a dab. I bend it back. Now I'm reaching it forward and laying it on that glue and waiting for a second. This is how you do your final positioning of the reindeer antlers. Awesome. Now let's do the same thing on this side. Bend it back. Put a little dot of glue. Use the little one. Here it is. Reach this up to cover it up and hold it in place. See, isn't this cute? Apparently there's all kinds of um, animals you can make out of washcloths. This one is just adorable. A little string of glue I'm trying to get off of there. Still not dry. And here he is. Isn't he cute? Let's see what they look like together. Yep, like this one's a little taller, right? Because I, it's the same washcloth. But I gave him a little more leg than the first one. Aren't they adorable? 
so cute. Thanks for joining me. I hope you like the reindeer and I hope you make one yourself. We'll see you next time. Bye.